Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 5th, 2022. Well, you know, Friday was an interesting day where we had some um, bad economic data uh, that the market chose to just ignore. And I, I had suggested last week that the it seemed like there was a pretty good possibility that the institutions really weren't going to allow any selling uh, to finish up the week. And that ended up playing out true despite the really um, bearish data that suggests the FOMC could remain hawkish. So keeping that in mind, we had a substantial rally back, but what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning and happy Monday, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may approach the market for today. First off, the diamonds. If we take a look here in this diamonds chart, I want to kind of point out the parabolic nature of the diamonds chart. And the diamonds has definitely been vastly the strongest index in the market. And as you can see, we continue to maintain that parabolic move. And if you look through a lot of the Dow component stocks, they're also in very parabolic moves. And that does give us a little bit of concern that we could see some substantial bear attacks at any point in time if, if they choose to do so or we could end up in longer term con um, consolidations. Typically a big bullish move like this, oh, excuse me, I had some kind of a blink there. I hope um, the video is still good. Um, we have um, some kind of a uh, longer term consolidation that could be the possibility. And one of the things that we can see as a result of that is we could get a wider chop range initially um, while that goes along. So that possibility does exist that we could see kind of a big point chop range here for a while and then maybe slowly start to settle down as the Dow may have to either pull back or consolidate substantially um, because of the parabolic nature of these moves. And just it's just a simple thing of allowing some of the moving averages to just kind of catch up. We have, uh, it's pretty rare when we just shoot straight up and we don't retest uh, moving average support levels. And that's what we've done here. We have just been like a rocket shot to the upside here in the Dow. Now, if we look at the other indexes out there, not so much extension. You know, if we look at the SPY, um, maybe just a little bit extended here in the chart, noticing that we're pressing into these resistance levels that we'll have to pay attention to um, in the chart. So watch that closely and let's keep in mind that as we progress here, moving forward with high hopes of a Santa Claus rally, we're also dealing with those major worries out there of what comes next year um, with likely very diminished capacity for companies to make money and um, recession fears on the horizon. So watch that close. Now, if we look right in here, if those bulls get inspired today, well, we'll look for a retest of these resistance levels up here in the chart. And if those bears, if those bears find the inspiration, you can see we've got a little bit of bearishness here this morning. We would look for a little bit of price support right in here. If that does not hold, however, then we would see uh, possibly down in here as a level. And the reason I keep pointing that out is just because we are quite extended in the short term. And we'll look at our T2122 here in a minute to kind of display that but short term we're we're pretty extended here in these charts and although there is a lot of hope about Santa there's also those major concerns out there that we see in the market if we take a look at our QQQ now QQQ is not in a major extended position but certainly running into substantial price action challenges and um, continuing in the downtrends that we see here overall in the market, um, running a little bit of concern. Now, we certainly have this upside 
pattern in here but that upside pattern also shows us that we may have extended this day just a little bit too much and we may need a little bit more rest or consolidation in here to reinforce or support that pattern so having said that if we find bulls um, find inspiration today then let's look for these resistance levels up here maybe that wick up here maybe the little bit uh, right in here that price section um, to serve as a little bit of resistance if we pop through there then maybe just we move on up here just a bit more here in the chart and we perhaps challenge that downtrend resistance in the QQQ however if those bears find inspiration we'll look for a little bit of price support right in here and if that doesn't hold the bigger price support level would be right in that area there let's take a look at our iwm our iwm also not quite as extended as the dow but a little bit on that um, that worrisome side because we're up here pressing against this downtrend resistance trying to see whether or not we can break through um, that level so we want to keep in mind longer term we have the diamond spy and qqq still challenging that downtrend resistance and even though the daily charts just suggest that it's all bulls all the time and we'll want to watch that close now this upside trend does remain in place so no worries there but once again let's take a look at resistance levels we have a little bit of resistance right here in the chart well not a little bit of resistance we got a lot of resistance right in that area here of iwm so if we can get that bullish inspiration here in the market maybe a retest up in here to see if we can punch through um and once again challenging that downtrend if the bears find that inspiration well keep in mind that big gap down on friday might serve as our little bit of price support right there um, in the chart but if that does not hold then we would look for a support level right down in here so watch that closely let's take a look at our vix this continues to be a concern for me the vix is showing us i believe to be um, considerable complacency when we consider the actual condition of our economic numbers out there and the fact that the FOMC will continue to raise rates so as we look at this we are showing just a tremendous complacency in the market but having said that the bulls are in control and there's no reason to believe at this point there's no signs in this chart that those bulls are ready to give up that control just yet but as we continue to punch down here um, in the VIX showing this um, just no worries at all in the market I think that's kind of a false read. I think it's an overconfidence move in the market. Now, of course, Santa Claus can inspire that kind of magic for a period of time, but just keep in mind that we are so stretched out, we can have some big point moves if those bears find reason to attack. So watch that close. And if we take a look at our T2122, well we're right back up here in this bearish reversal zone we had pulled back pretty substantially on that gap down on friday we were back down into here on that gap down with that bad data but then the buyers just stepped in and just bought 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 pushing everything right back up into that bearish reversal zone so once again we're up here in a position where we'll have to watch pretty closely because we have seen this many times before we get up in this area and then again there has never been a time ever that we haven't pushed up here that we eventually don't see that pullback down to the downside here so we'll have to stay um, on our toes watching for those clues of those bear attacks but at the at this moment in time there is no evidence that they are ready to make that attack happen um, just yet so just watch that closely we're kind of extended and then if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 was pretty flat on friday but 
that's a lot and we got to give that to the bulls notice that they're just hanging in here now i will point out over multiple years this chart's going back into parts of 2017 here if you notice across here it is a rare situation where we break above this area here and we can hold that so where we are right now we are still in a very elevated position and although we may have that opportunity to punch up here a bit higher we want to watch for that possibility or be expecting that possibility that those bears could find some inspiration in here pushing us back down and if that doesn't occur if we don't get a um, a pullback in the market then we should be watching for a considerable sideways consolidation to consolidate such a big upside move in um, our index so watch that closely and then our t2107 continues to show that those bulls are in control and continuing to extend out here and that does provide just a little bit of concern here because we've gone from um, uber bearishness to uber bullishness without a stop in between or a retest of support levels so that speculation is still so high we need to be watching for those potential bear attacks now about 50 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average but you will want to notice we are entering a major zone of con uh, congestion here in the tar chart and that a pullback could begin at any time or a longer term consolidation if we take a look at our t2101 well t2101 is again being very very choppy here and i think that's because we've been suffering for some time with substantially low volume and friday was low except right at the end of the day we had a pretty good surge of um, institutional um, activity that got consolidated to the market from the dark pools that picked up that volume um, a bit but we've been kind of choppy here in our volume so probably not getting the best data from our t2101 let's take a look <coughs> at our um, economic <coughs> calendar for today and i apologize for the voice all of a sudden um our economic calendar we've got a couple things here on there to be paying attention to we got a pmi final uh composite number now, that's not known for moving the market very much but one thing we certainly have to make note of is that our PMI and our ISM manufacturing numbers are showing substantial contraction um, in the market. So our economy is slowing down and we'll want to be paying attention to this as we continue to pump these stocks higher and higher. If we take a look, we also have factory orders today and our ISM services number um, to be watching for here later on uh, this morning got a couple of bond auctions to be paying attention to and I think we have entered the blackout period here for um, um, our Fed members talking because we're going to head next week into an FOMC meeting so um, I think we've entered that blackout period where they just kind of have to shut up for a while so maybe we'll get some relief on that front let's take a look at for the rest of the week as you can see not huge numbers of economic reports but certainly market movers international trade in goods that petroleum status productivity and cost numbers um, mortgage applications have continued to be very bearish um, though we've largely ignored the housing um, situation weakening uh, jobless claims on Thursday which is our normal and then probably the biggest one of the week is going to be that PPI final demand number uh, another reading on inflation that we'll want to be keeping an eye on then let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar um, is a lot uh, diminished uh, from what we have been seeing here for a while but there are notables um, that will be coming up throughout the week that could move the market um, we'll um, be talking about those as we move along but today very light on that economic calendar uh, or earnings calendar I've only got two for the notable reports uh, GTLB um, we'll want to be keeping an eye on that and SUMO um, whoops did I 
um, S U M. Oh, I just had too many letters in there. Um, we'll also be reporting today. So keep an eye on those. Um, not particularly the kind of stocks that are going to move the market a bunch, as you can see. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And, but before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, clicking that thumbs up button, leaving a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. Make sure you click that bell icon so you'll be notified when I post a video. And if you could also do me that favor, if you feel that the video is worthy, um, please share this video out on your social media feeds. That also helps us find new subscribers that may find some benefit from these videos. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. And although I don't mention this all that much, I just want to give a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, we're going to have to do our own due diligence and be very, very careful about how we approach um, you know, this data-driven market, uh, making sure that you have um, uh, put these trade um, charts against your own trade rules and your guidelines in trading and make those decisions very, very carefully. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Now, first off, let's take a look um, and a couple of stocks that may be on that setup road here that could look pretty good. Take a look at 3M in here. Now, 3M is one of those old, boring companies, good, strong, divvy payer. And with the worries of recession that we've been talking about moving ahead, well, it might be worth keeping an eye on some of these old, boring companies. Holding in here on a little bit of a support level, as you can see, picking up uh, those higher lows in here, maybe could be setting up. Watch that close. We still have this little downtrend in play here. And then we've got that big downtrend um, that we still are trying to battle here in 3M. But interesting uh, patterns starting to show up in that chart. You might want to keep an eye on it. Take a look at um, stocks like FedEx. FedEx has been picking up nicely here. Um, moving up in this nice upside trend may need a little bit of rest or pullback but it's also possible that could continue to move on up to fill this gap before that occurs. If this were to rest or consolidate a little bit more, I think that might set up that opportunity here to the upside. So let's keep a close eye on that. Watch that one closely. You know, I have to continue to bring up metals and, and energy stocks here in the market. Taking a look at our US dollar, our US dollar continues to weaken here. And as you can see, as the dollar weakens, we are we are seeing some pretty substantial moves in the um, precious metals and commodity prices moving back to the upside. That's also going to have an effect on our oil uh, numbers as well. So watch that closely as we continue to move in this downtrend. Now we are approaching, as you can see, some resistance levels in the chart that we will want to be or support levels in the chart that we will want to be paying attention to. But that dollar continues to show substantial weakness, which has been quite a reversal here um, just recently. So watch that close. And as that happens, I've been mentioning gold and gold continues to surge higher. I think this was a beautiful upside pattern to potentially participate in. If you're not in it yet, I would wait. Notice that we're reaching up here, stretching out just a little bit. Maybe Maybe a little rest or consolidation may be due here and then look for that next entry into gold. I've got to say the same for silver. Silver being a um, uh, also an industrial metal besides just a, a precious metal as you can see this has surged dramatically and it's a little bit on the parabolic side at the moment. 
I think a rest or pullback is due here in that chart. Maybe we can find a little bit of price support here coming up, maybe a little bit of rest here um, in silver and then look for that opportunity. You will want to keep in mind that silver is pushing up toward this longer term downtrend. Um, if it were to pop out of there and hold um, higher up here, then there may be some substantial upside opportunities there. Now, having said about uh, precious metals, let's take a look at copper. Um, uh, take a look at FCX Miner uh, Freeport. Um, this has been moving up in that upside trend. It's something I've been talking about. I don't know if anyone has been participating in that upside move, um, but watch that closely. Notice we've broken through another little level of resistance here. A little rest or pullback may be due in that chart, but watch it close. And then let's take a look at other places that have been showing up in steel. Um, U.S. Steel moving up nicely here, as you can see, breaking through resistance levels. This is, um, you know, on the cheaper side of stocks. I get criticized every once in a while. You only show real expensive stocks. Well, when when those lower price stocks start to show bullish patterns, I want to be looking at those too. And as you can see, a little rest consolidation in here could easily set up a nice opportunity. And and I would look at other steel stocks as well. Um, to take a look at those because quite a few of those are looking very very strong let's take a look at some of the oil sector stocks now oil has been running into some challenges here we know we've been talking about some demand destruction and things like that in the in the market um, and that's uh, created this little bit of a pause here but now we've heard from OPEC again that they're likely going to continue their production cuts here in um, energy and and I don't see any 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 big changes happening with our administration willing to turn loose the oil industry here in the United States so we can become energy independent again so with that in mind we're very dependent on other countries for their production and if they're reducing production that could run into uh, shortages here in the United States which likely pushes those prices higher so keep an eye on that if we were to break out of this wedge here in XLE pop to the upside and hold I think I might be back in the market for picking up some energy and if we continue to see the US dollar weaken that only continues to pump that energy price higher so watch that closely and as we move into this the hard part of winter here demand could be high for those energy um, um, energy needs so watch that closely now let's take a look at some of the individual stocks in here um, stocks that have been holding up pretty darn well Exxon Mobil's been going into a nice long consolidation I'd watch for some opportunities in there if that starts to perk up um, stocks like APA have been showing that little bit of bullishness starting to creep in here and maybe breaking that little downtrend to the upside so there are quite a few there to be paying attention to other places you might want to be keeping an eye on there's been some tech improvement here um, and with um, maybe some relief um, in um, um, pandemic restrictions in China we might see a little bit more bullishness coming in a few of these stocks take a look at Nvidia here um, Nvidia is one that I um, am toying with a longer term um, hold kind of position here in Nvidia breaking that downtrend and we're really relaxing and kind of setting up that higher low place as we deal with all of this congestion area in the chart but let's keep an eye on that Nvidia looking pretty good um, AMD is another one that I'm actually holding a stock position on um, waiting to see if that's going to be able to break this longer term downtrend we're holding some support levels keep a close eye on that if that um, shows some of those signs of moving back higher so with that guys hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading be a little bit careful and particularly be a little bit watchful of the dow and the reason i i continue to say that is we are so parabolic in this move with really no major test back to test a price support we're set up for uh, you know substantially painful pullback if uh, those bears 
players find some inspiration. I'm not saying they will, but let's keep a close eye on that and let's be thinking about what next year could bring us as we continue to extend the this um, Santa Rally to the upside. So I wish you all of the best. Have an awesome day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the very best.